friends as i promised to you that uh, i will make a separate video on operator precedence and associativity of the operators so that's why i made it and uh, i have also solved some questions for you in this video so please watch this carefully and uh, and understand the concept because the questions in board examination there will be some questions you will get so <coughs> just watch it uh, i said in the class also that array index method call and member access they are the uh, having the same uh, the precedence of uh, precedence means uh, their uh, uh, precedence is the same and they are having the same priority so these comes under same group and uh, their associativity is from left to right so left to right is like this this one so what does it means it means students uh, suppose uh, i have this uh, if i any expression i have this of uh, this uh, array index after that i have this one after that i have this one so who, who will we solve first from left to right so this will be for solve for solve first then next one and then next one okay so next come to do uh, to the pre or post increment pre or post decrement unary plus unary minus tilde or bitwise complement and logical norm so these basically these all are having same uh, precedence that means same priority so students the increment and decrement operator priority is from left to right um, if i solve the question then you will get the answer and uh, just check it next ne next one is type cast operator so type cast and new operator so type cast and new operator is having the same priority and uh, their precedence is from right to left so this thing you must remember next one multiply modulo and division these three are having the same priority that means if any expression is you are having these three uh, operators like a plus minus uh, a plus multiply 5 divided by 7 so which you will solve first this is dependent on operators occurrence from left to right so the operator which comes first from the left side that will be solved first next one is addition and subtraction so and uh, string concatenation so these both are having uh, same priority and they their associativity is from left to right next one uh, less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to these these are of the same priority and their associativity is left to right next one equal to not equal to logical and so students equal to and not equal to these two are having same priority and their associativity is left to uh, right next one is logical and logical r and uh, conditional operator so these are having not same priority but their associativity is from left to right and the highest priority is and then or then conditional next one is assignment or, and shorthand operator so assignment and shorthand uh, assignment operators these all are having same priority and their associativity is from right to left so let me take some questions so after why that you can understand easily what i uh, what i want to say just let me take the question so for the student okay so so students here are some questions let me discuss with you y equal to y plus equal to plus plus y plus y minus minus plus minus minus y where y equal to 8 so you know that y plus equal to this is shorthand notation so this will be written like this let me open the word file also y equal to this will be written like this y plus so basically this y plus equal becomes y equal to y plus 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 y plus y so this is written here just see watch here 
so this is written y equal to y plus plus y uh, this is the complete uh, expression then after that what happened I said to you that uh, uh, pre increment or post increment are having the same priority and their associativity is from left to right just remember two things so what happened y becomes 8 over here this value is having 8 next one here plus then plus plus y so you know that first increment then uh, value so 8 becomes 9 then plus then here is post decrement that means first huge value then decrement so what becomes value 9 uh, that means uh, uh, there was value 9 so 9 directly will be used so 9 then plus here first decrement then huge value so what happened 9 you will 9 use here then it becomes 8 then it comes again here and again it, it says the first decrement so decrement means 8 becomes 7 so here 7 will be and the answer will be 33 okay next come the question next come to the question suppose I have x equal to 5 so plus plus x minus x so it will evolute from left to uh, right so plus plus x is first increment then use uh, increment the value and use so 5 becomes 6 then minus first use the value then increment so the here x becomes 6 then minus then here directly use 6 then it will increment to 7 then plus and where first decrement so 7 becomes again 6 here will be 6 so answer will be 6 next question <coughs> name the operators listed below you can give the answer also <laughs> less than or comparison operator increment operator logical and operator and conditional operator next one what is the result stored in x after evaluating the following expression so you know that x plus plus 2 who is having the highest priority you know this increment is having the highest priority i explained to you uh, in this one just see here this is increment is the highest priority in the compare of uh, division division is the below okay so i think you people have confident about this so where i was <coughs> okay so that means this increment will be solved first so it is solved from left to right so 5 becomes here first use then increment because it is first increment to so use 5 then it becomes 6 then multiply 2 plus 3 multiply then here will be 6 but first decrement so 6 becomes 5 so it is used 5 then after that there are operator plus and mul multiply so 2 multiply are here that means 2 multiply means uh, they are having the same priority multiply multiply so it is solved from left to right so first multiply 5 plus 2 10 plus then 5 plus 3 15 then after 25 i think uh, right now your concept is building next question x equal to 4 then solid so you know that this is use then increment this is increment then use so x uh, uh, becomes here right 4 because it is used then uh, increment to 4 this is shorthand notation also so x equal to x plus so you will write 4 plus 4 and it becomes 5 here the here it becomes 6 so that means 4 plus 4 plus <coughs> here become 6 6 plus here here also become 6 because uh, this in this step the value of x becomes 6 so 6 plus 6 you get answer 20 next one evaluate the uh, value of n if value of p equal to 5 q equal to 9 so you know that conditional operator is here p minus q what is p minus q that means uh, minus 14 p minus q minus 14 question mark q minus p this is 14 colon p minus q is equal to p minus q minus 14 so <coughs> the it says that <coughs> if this one is greater okay <coughs> then it will be print otherwise it will be print so is 14 is greater than minus 14 i think uh, yes then 14 is printed then answer is 14 where is easy question next one 11 multiply uh, 11 multiply 11 plus 5 so it's, it's very very easy because no 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 here question is here so plus plus y multiply y plus 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 5 <coughs> so first you will write here 
you will see this one that is uh, increment operator so <coughs> increment operator says that uh, pre increment so first you will increment so 11 multiply here will be 11 uh, again so 11 plus 5 so this will be solved first <coughs> this will be solved first so uh, what happened 11 plus 5 16 and 16 multiply 11 176 answer is 176 okay next one give the output of the following expression uh, a equal to 7 a equal to 7 so a equal to a plus it becomes a equal to a plus then this is the right expression this one <coughs> so c1 here will be post to so c1 plus c1 then here will be 8 8 goes to here 9 then here will be 8 and here will be 8 again just see c1 plus c1 9 plus 8 plus 39 very easy question student just use your mind next one Write output of the following character ch equal to f int m equal to ch m equal to m plus 5 session or mch see this answer <coughs> ch equal to f then if ch is converted to m that means you are converting a small data type to a big data type okay so you know that f is having ask i value what is f 17 70 so it will convert <coughs> to 70 and uh, in increment of 5 increment of 5, 5 that means it becomes 75 and out will be 75 what is the output of the following program snipped so you can also do the same question this is done by you so students i hope that my this video your all the concept of operators is clear right now so i'm i will be very happy if you will solve all the exercise question assignment and uh, uh, all the exercise question from you so this is your your homework that you will solve all, each and every question of this operator whenever uh, we will meet in the next video then then i will explain <coughs> then i will explain uh, that is next chapter that are methods thank you